today we are going to talk about swift network in messaging swift the term uh, you might have heard while working as a ba for a finance domain of for a project under finance domain or if you are working in a bank or if you are doing any cross border transfers it's a very common term which is used nowadays and peep most of the people are aware of it SWIFT uh, stands for the Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunications. So for over 40 years now, SWIFT has been the backbone of the financial institutions connecting over more than 10,000 plus uh, uh, global FIs. FIs is financial organizations or sorry about that, fi or financial institutions. It brings all the organizations together by defining the standards and the market practices it's not very easy to adhere to the local market practices uh, technology complexities and the working calendars and we specifically say working calendars because each region each country has a different workday setup so we will come to that in other videos when we discuss about that but uh, that's a very complex scenario what we talk about and it's a very very common scenario too and the new standard swift uh, you might have heard of the MT messages mt103 202 202 cover but uh, the new standard which is coming up uh, nowadays of which people talk about is the iso 2022 so SWIFT is the only institutions to, is institution to provide a worldwide value-added network designed specifically for ISO 2022. When we say value-added network, it's, so it's a private network specifically designed for information uh, electronic data interchange. Uh, so it's the worldwide, it provides global network for ISO 2022. So with the help of SWIFT network, the financial institutions can send and receive information about transactions in a very secure, standardized and a reliable environment. Though uh, when we talk about SWIFT, uh, all the financial messages, communication, all everything happen on a, in a very highly secure way. But just to make a point or just to highlight one thing, SWIFT does not hold account for its members and does not perform any form of clearing and settlement. SWIFT does not facilitate funds transfer, rather it sends only the payment orders which must be settled by the correspondent accounts that the institutions have with each other. So different payments when you talk about cross order payments, so on an average each transaction or the most of the payments which are done via SWIFT are done within 30 minutes okay so on the screen what you see it's uh, it's it's headquartered in Belgium and uh, it's specifically ded dedicated for financial telecommunication okay okay talking about the communication protocol uh, you might have heard of these terms uh, SwiftNet interact SwiftNet file act SwiftNet browse SWIFT sells software and services to financial institutions much of it for use on the SwiftNet network and the business identifier codes which are popularly, popularly known as SWIFT codes. So the big what you see the big uh, the business identifier codes what you see on a bank website or anywhere when you are filling when you are doing a cross border transfer it's not something which a bank gets free of charge so they have to request SWIFT uh, to SWIFT to provide them a bank business identifier code and that branch or that organization or that specific uh, headquarter becomes eligible for the SWIFT transfer okay so uh, talking about the first of all before delving into the communication network so SWIFT has three data centers uh, one is in United States one is in Netherlands and the one is in Switzerland Switzerland is the most recent one uh, I believe it was opened in 20, uh, 2009 and when we talk about data centers there are three specific data centers in case of any failure in one of the data centers another is able to handle the traffic uh, of the complete network and uh, Swift uses uh, 
submarine communication cables transmit its data so submarine communication cables it's a very common term if you are aware so it's more around uh, the cable laid on on the seabed between land based stations to carry telecommunication signals across stretches of oceans and sea okay so the network is the swiftnet network the technology used is xml and when we talk about communication protocol these three protocols come into picture um, so one is the swiftnet interact so swift interact is the messaging service for exchanging xml based financial messages and data between users and uh, including uh, uh, Swift MX and ISO 2022 payments. So it can be payments, it can be transactions, settlement instructions, FX confirmation, statements and reports. When we talk about File Act, File Act is a very cost effective way to transfer a large volume of files, large volume of data I would say or rather in different formats to the correspondence. Uh, whether you need to transfer mass payment information, documents, images or any other kind of data file act provides you with a single channel to your correspondent around the globe now coming to swiftnet browse uh, with browse you can access uh, web services securely over your existing swift infrastructure with the uh, session integrity confidential confidential confidentiality protection strong user authentication so it's a very secured way to access web services i would say we can definitely go into details of this particular topic so uh, when we talk about swiftnet and the last is swift fin messages so fin messages are nothing but the empty messages what you see so that are being transmitted and the financial information from one uh, financial institution to another okay talking about swift messages uh, so you have seen each swift message is represented by a three digit number okay if you see do you have category message type description and number of the message types uh, here on the screen so different message types have a different description and uh, for a bank which is uh, into payments they specifically deal with mt100 and 200 series and the 900 series for example for treasury uh, market you have 600 series and for the securities you have 500 series so there are different messages for different uh, uh, tasks what you intend to do okay but the interesting thing uh, thing is like for example when you talk about mt103 or mt202 uh, any message you have this when you talk about the second digit okay when you have uh, this is the first digit which is the message type identifier which you pro which provides the description what the message is all about the second digit when we talk about it has a very specific meaning and uh, when we say meaning we call it as a group for example uh, if the if the digit is zero in mt in, in mt 10 x uh, X can be any number for example mt103 zero means the message is about transfer when you have uh, nine as the second digit it means it's it's some kind of exception exception can be anything it can be a cancellation it can be a query it can be advice or it can be any answer uh, from one fi to another fi okay so before uh, ending this session uh, i would just like to uh, ask my audience to look into uh, alternative to swift systems or swift network what we have globally for all the cross-border payments swift only accounts for the 50 percent of the transactions you have other alternatives available so just look for that i will provide you a hint for example for the cryptocurrency part you have ripple russia it's a very interesting story around russia uh, uh, network or the app uh, network designed uh, which is known as spfs 
look for it on the internet and definitely put it in your comment section if you really like it or if you the, as I mentioned the story is very interesting okay I'm going to end the session here uh, please do subscribe to this video press the bell icon for the new videos uh, thanks for watching it bye bye